All right, folks, you are currently sitting inside the Osiris as I get ready to take it into the middle of the desert for a little bit of off-road testing and some camera calibration. And I apologize in advance for the quality of the sound because I am using nothing more right now than just a little cheapy old GoPro, an old one at that. However, what I've got to ask you is fairly important. But if I seem a little distracted, it's because I'm not really driving on a road right now. And it's bumpy, and I'd rather not pop a tire or fall off a cliff. So bear with me. Earlier today, I posted a tweet, obviously on Twitter, that referenced the fact that any type of scientific research uh, is beholden to the money that's backing that research. Great, I just missed a delivery. The problem is, a lot of the times that money comes with a narrative. It comes with a reason, a restriction, an idea. And all of that affects the quality and the integrity of the science, if not done correctly, and if not approached previously with carte blanche and the ability to do the research free of any encumbrances from the money. A lot of you on Twitter supported this idea and many folks out there were in complete and total agreement that this is an extreme problem, especially in the field of UAP research. There has been a tremendous amount of research done by a lot of good people, but can you imagine where we would be today if their research had been funded and it came with a blank check to be able to do and research what they needed to do without any restrictions on the funding aspect. So as you ride with me today in the Osiris, as we go off and get ready to do this camera calibration, I wanted to challenge you. I want to challenge each and every one of you to stop just sitting back and waiting for disclosure to happen, but to join me in forcing disclosure. We are never going to get it if we sit back on our butts and we simply wait for the government to give us information. But if we go out and we obtain this information ourselves or encourage others to go out and do this information gathering, we have the chance to get the answers that we're seeking. But we're going to get the answers for ourselves. We're not going to rely on the government to give it to us. So what I am proposing is that if you are an app developer, contact me. If you are a back-end AWS developer, contact me. If you know Python, contact me. If you know how to do fundraising for nonprofit organizations, contact me. Because I am putting together a team. I am building a team of all volunteers, people that are going to go down in history as being the people who changed the narrative, people who changed the conversation, people who were responsible for getting disclosure to happen. Hell, we may even be the people that give disclosure to the government. If this works as I have envisioned, and you step up and volunteer your time, I think we can make a huge difference in this entire process. Now, what am I proposing? It's actually quite simple. As soon as I get over this cliff without dying, what I am proposing is the design, the implementation, the maintenance, and the continued development and upkeep of a website that allows for people in the UAP UFO community 
to submit abstracts, to submit theories and ideas on how best to research the phenomena, what type of experiments can be run in an effort to try to communicate with the phenomenon, or at least at the bare minimum, define what proof of the phenomenon actually looks like. Now, scientists, academics, and regular folks like you and me can submit their 30-second elevator pitch to this site, and the site would be then run very similar to a Kickstarter or a GoFundMe, where the world can evaluate what the proposals are, and they can decide to donate five, 10, 20, a thousand dollars, whatever you might want to donate to a specific research project. Or if you like more than one, you can break your donation down to support multiple research projects. This will allow the scientists, the academics, the folks like me even, to be able to fund our experiments without being beholden to the restrictions or the narratives of the holders of the money. So I encourage you to help me build this platform. Developers, fundraisers, media influencers, authors, bloggers, vloggers, I need all of you. Come to me and let's create a decentralized platform for scientific experimentation and funding to research the phenomenon.